guys, so today I'm going to drill a hole in the boat. So previously I, I fiberglassed some holes in the boat. Right, right there. Um, sorry, these wires, these lines are in the way, but I fiberglassed these holes and because I didn't realize what they were for and I still don't know what they're for, but I need a hole. I need it right there because what I need to do is I need to get this to go power my battery underneath here. I'll put it right under here. And so I need these to go through this hole right here. It's there to power my motor. My It's electric motor. It's a little quieter and more importantly for me, it was affordable. <laughs> so. I'm going to drill a hole in the boat, and then I'm going to wire it up. Okay guys, so I I got this. I, I drilled two holes. So right here, uh, right next to each other. So be because of that, this guy here can fit in um, and we will wire him up okay okay guys so I have a couple of things to do I have a um, something blocking the um, my pathway to put the battery down in this part of the boat and I also I need to do some uh, there is a lot of calcium uh, on these and so I gotta brush those off and but first let's take care of this down here so that's what we're gonna do right now Okay, so I couldn't get the I couldn't get the uh, styrofoam flotation thing out of the out of here. You can see it's still in there, and I moved it a little bit, but I decided for right now because I can go back and I can chop that thing up, but for right now I'm gonna empty out this and I'm going to try to put the battery down there. So that's what I'm going to try to do. We'll see if it, <laughs> it's going to be a lot to move that, but I'll get it. And uh, we'll see if we can get the electrical working. Uh, while I work, well, before I work on trying to empty out this here, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to work on, I'm going to scrub this right here and try to get all the calcium off and I'll put a chemical on it to help it take the calcium off and then while it's the chemical sits I will unload that so I should let you know I'm using this uh, CLR it takes out a lot of gross stuff and I put it in this little bottle um, with half water half the chemical and I got a little toothbrush to scrub it, and then I can just dip in and scrub it. You don't want to, oh, I forgot. You also want to have some gloves. guys so I cleaned out this area over here but I found out that there is also another well uh, well this one seems to fit a little better so I think I can get it out but uh, hopefully I won't have as much trouble as the other one uh, 
I re we really got to get this battery in there, otherwise I can't take the boat out. Um, and I really want to take the boat out. Okay, guys, so um, I got the battery right there. So I'm going to put that in, but before I do, I'm going to have to um, clean this thing up some more. Um, I'm going to wipe it down, make sure there's no more chemical or moisture on or water on it so it doesn't cause electrical problems. And I also uh, have this ready in case of an emergency. Um, so I also, another thing I have to do is this, there's a bunch of cable that's been chewed on by uh, rats and or mice that used to live in here. And so I'm going to have to get some electrical tape to um, clean that up. And hopefully we won't have a fire. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Okay guys, so I'm going to put the battery in. Okay guys, so I rigged up the electrical and the motor works great. I lost the audio in this section, but I basically say that the motor works well, but the electrical for the whole boat does not work. I'll most likely have to rewire the whole thing. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you.